everybody's having a good start to their week. Um, I went to sleep about 10 o'clock last night, so I was wide awake at 5.30 this morning, trying to take a little nap this morning, before you know, about a half hour nap before I had to start getting ready, and the phone wouldn't stop ringing. Drives me nuts. And what they are is telemarketers that have gotten my cell phone number, and no matter how many times I tell them to stop, they keep doing it. Irritates the heck out of me. Anyway, let's go um, first impressions to what I'm wearing this week. First thing I put on is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara in... Holy cow. That's tiny writing. Even with this, I can't read it. It's so tiny. I know it says 380 medium to dark. Man, that's tiny writing. Anyway, that is what that looks like. I absolutely love the wand on. I mean, the length of the wand on this. It makes it think so easy when the wand is longer. You know, it's just got the tiny uh, spoolie at the end, but the wand is long, and it just makes things easy. And I don't think this is as dark as what I was wearing last week. I kind of like this color. This you know, doesn't bother me one bit. I, I'm i happy with this so far. Okay, and my Ulta Eye Primer. You guys know I love that. Uh, next, I put on, I'm going to wear, use my Naked 3 this week. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. I figure I can figure out six different shades. You know, the shades aren't terribly terribly different you know so it's going to be somewhat similar this week but anyway today I wore this I started out wearing this as um, a transition and you can't even see it so this here would be good as a base so I went to this one and I've been using or I used this one today and then I just went with this first um, kind of very pale rosy gold And I'll show ya. You know, it's just a very light look today. Just very glittery gold. Um, I've got glitter on my cheeks, but you know, I don't, I don't care. You know, it's not overly too much. Okay, so then I'm using the All May One Coat Thickening in 401 Blackest Black Mascara. And this is what that looks like. It's, you know, I've had this mascara quite a while, and it really, it does the job. I mean, it's not a great mascara. It's not a terrible mascara. So, I mean, it does the job. Put this stuff back. Um, For blush, I'm using my Milani Romantic Rose in 01. And this is what it looks like doesn't hardly even look like I've made a dent. I've started to. You know, it's starting to wear down just a little bit. But I want to use these more because I absolutely love these. Okay, and I started out using the Milani Illuminating Face Powder in Hermosa Rose. And I couldn't even see it. Not crazy. You know, when you swatch it, it's like it's so light you could barely see it. And I don't know whether there's a, you know, it doesn't feel powdery. You know, I you can see where I'm rubbing. But look at that, after all that rubbing, barely anything. So, um, I'll either, you know, see if anybody wants this or I'll throw it in the garbage because it does me no good to keep it. Okay, so then I went to my e.l.f. baked highlighter in, for crying out loud, Moonlight Pearls. And I like the e.l.f. highlighters. I think they do a darn good job. This is pretty. Okay, and for lipstick. Today, I'm using miscellaneous lipsticks this week. I'm using the du Duche. Is that how you say it? Duche? Um, lipstick in 802. Just 802. 
And I had forgotten, this is such a lovely packaging and stuff, you know, it's really nice. You push on the end, it pops out. And it's such a beautiful color, but it's broken. So it's really hard to use. It, it just, you have to have it so far down, and then you get lipstick everywhere. You know, because it is broken off. Really sad because I like this lipstick a lot. It's very pretty. Anyway, that is my Monday. And I will see you starting my, my uh, full-time schedule today. I'm uh, going to 38 hours, working Monday through Friday, 11 to 5, and then Saturdays 10 to 6, just in case you're curious. <laughs> I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm just bringing you in really close so you can see the glitter on my cheeks. I don't know if you can see them or not. Good morning and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Making It Work. And let's just get into what I'm wearing today. Today I am wearing my um, L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper Brow Mascara. My Ulta Eye Primer. For my eyes, well, I'll get into what I'm wearing all week. My e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. My Milani Blush 01 Romantic Rose. <clears throat> all May One Coat Thickening Mascara. For my eyes, I am using my Naked 3 by Urban Decay. Today, I used this as my base, which I will use all week long. This as my transition, which I will use all week long. And this one, which is a very beautiful, rosy, um, light, you know, it's got gold shimmer in it, but it's rose. Beautiful color on my lid today and I'll show you that um, I absolutely love this palette it has pigmented it lasts all day but I have a lot of glitter on my cheeks you know but I have not found one found a eyeshadow palette that has the shimmer and the glitter in it that you don't I just have not found that but I have a lot of glitter on my cheeks, and it's hard, it's ridiculous to get off, so I don't even try. So I just have an extra shimmer on my cheeks is all. For my lips, I'm using today, this week I'm doing miscellaneous lipsticks, um, Sonia Kashuk in Roseberry, and it is gorgeous. And it is so silky smooth going on. Um, we'll see how right. it lasts. So that is my makeup of the day, and I will see you tomorrow. Buddy, Bye. Welcome to Wednesday's edition of my Making It Work series. I am in a really big hurry. i am got to go. So my mom called, and, and I couldn't get her off the phone. So uh, Brow Plumper by L'Oreal. Ulta Eye Primer. All May One Coat Thickening Mascara. Milani uh, Rose Romantic Rose Blush, Elf Highlighter in uh, Moonlight Pearls, Naked Three for my eye palette this week. Use this and this, and then I used this one for my all over cover and color. And this one is more gold with rose flecks in it, but I have got glitter everywhere on my face. Today I used the. Um, Let's see here. It is Muse Matte Lipstick. I got this at uh, Shop Miss A in Classic Rose. And it's really, it's it's not, it's, it's not really rose. Rose color, I figure, is a little bit darker than this. But it, this is good lipstick. Um, really surprised me from Shop Miss A that, that, I really like this lipstick. So, anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Here's my eyes. But I have got glitter everywhere. So, anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. This is Connie, and welcome back to my Making It Work series. This is day four. 
and I'll let you know what I've been wearing all week. And the first thing I picked up was my All May One Coat Thickening Mascara. My Ulta Eye Primer. My Brow Stylist Plumper from L'Oreal in M900. Well, wait right here. Got my trusty. Medium to dark. Excuse me, I got a hair. Uh, my Milani blush in Romantic Rose. My e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlit Pearls. For my eyes this week, I've been using my Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. Today, I used this color here for my bra, or for all over my eye. This for my transition, and this one for my lid color today. I'm just kind of going right down the row on the shimmery shadows. And I'll show you that. I'm having an extremely bad hair day today. This is a beautiful lid color. I don't know. Things are quite a bit lighter this this week. Ugh. And then for my uh, or for my lips, I'm using Kiko Milano Color Click Lipstick in 05 is the color. This is what it looks like. Just push on the end here and it pops out. I love that. I think those are so neat. And it's just this really pretty pink color. Um, it's not, you know, in, in your face Barbie pink, but it's really, excuse, <coughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> like a soft muted pink. It's just really, really pretty. I really like it. And this goes on very well. It's very pigmented. It's very um, soft and smooth when anyway, it goes on. Um, I will see you tomorrow and have a good day. Bye. Friday morning everybody and I hope everybody's ready for their weekend. Whoever has it off, lucky you. <laughs> I still have one more day to work and then I, I'm having Sunday off so I'm excited because this is day 11 for me in a row and, and uh, for an old fat lady that's a lot. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to telling you what I wore for this week. First thing I wore was my um, Brow Stylist Plumper from L'Oreal, my brow gel. Then, let's see, I wore All May One Coat Thickening Mascara, my Ulta Eye Primer, my Milani Blush in Romantic Rose, my e.l.f. highlighter and Moonlit Pearls, I believe. I can't read it this morning. Okay, for my lips this week, excuse me, of course. I used the Naked 3 palette. And I used this for my base. This for my crease. And I used this one today for my eyeshadow or my eyelid. I'll show you my eyes. Very pretty color. My blush, this here, I got bit by something um, two nights ago and it just swelled up huge and it's still swollen. But look at that hole. What the hell? Sure doesn't look like a mosquito hole to me. <laughs> Anyway, today I wore, for lipstick, I wore the e.l.f. Let me see here. This is Touch of Blush. And I really, really like these um, lipsticks, these new lipsticks that they've got. Better than any that I've used before, actually. And this is this color, very pretty almost kind of a it's a dark mauve or dark got a little bit of brown in it um, but I really like the color 
I'll talk to you tomorrow. Day five today. Bye-bye. This bye. is Connie, and welcome back to my Making It Work. And today is day six, and the last day of my working week. I have Sundays off from now on. Woohoo! <laughs> I, you know, I wish I could afford to take more than one day a week off, but this still only gives me 38 hours. But, you know, hey. I'm pretty happy with that. I've been making okay tips. You know, yesterday I had to split some because I was very busy over lunch and I had help. So I did split my tips in half. Otherwise, I would have come out pretty good. But anyway, I um, wanted to let you know what my final thoughts for the week are. The first thing I used was my Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara by L'Oreal. And this is in medium to dark. And pretty happy with this. I love the long wand. I love that. It makes it so easy to use, you know, compared to a lot of them that have the really short one. I really am happy with this so far. Next thing I used was my... Ulta Eye Primer, and you guys know that I love this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be wear using it all the time. I am, you know, still there, and I use, you know, uh, just put it on my finger, rub my fingers together, and then use it like that. And I use probably this much every time. <coughs> Sometimes a little bit more, and that is too much. So... It depends on how much comes out of this greasy tube, I guess. The next thing I used was my Naked 3 this week. And I was, I'm, I love, love, love this palette. What I used today was this for my base, uh, this for my transition, and this one here for my lid. And this was very easy to get six looks out of. I mean, they're all, you know, a little bit similar. But, you know, I went one, two, three, four, five, six for my lids. So it was very easy to do. There was very, very pretty. Every, every look that I had this week was very pretty, I thought. Um, fallout, glitter fallout. But I have not found a palette where I don't have glitter fallout. So very pigmented very pretty. I love that palette. Um, I used my All May One Coat Thickening Mascara in Blackest Black. That is what, you know, I think this is probably coming to the end of the road, this one. It's getting a little bit drier. Uh, you know, I'm not too picky about mascaras. If, as long as they don't clump. I hate clumping mascaras. But if they separate my lashes and they coat my lashes, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of lashes. I've got, my lashes are kind of short. I don't do falsies. So, I'm pretty, you know what, it, it takes a lot to, to make me not like a mascara. It can't be too wet, it can't be too dry, and it can't clump. There you go. Okay, for my blush this week, I used Romantic Rose, Milani Rose's blush, and I'm very happy with this blush. It's, um, it's pigmented, but it's not too dark. It is very pretty. It's just a really, really pretty color. Uh, Elf Highlighter, Baked Highlighter. Mm, it's okay. You know, it's, it's still in my rotation. I'm not going to get rid of it, you know, but it's very, it's a light sheen. It's not a illuminating sheen, you know what I mean? Um, okay, and the last thing today that I used was my Duce. Um, if you remember, the, the Duce that I used the beginning of the week is broken, so I think that I'm going to pass that on or else I'm going to get rid of it. But this one here is in color 907, and it's very pretty. Uh, it is a matte. 
and it goes on like a map. It is d dry feeling. It, the color is beautiful. But that's really all that I can say that, you know, it does not feel hydrating or, or moisturizing whatsoever. You know, it's not sticky, but it, it does feel like it's not going to budge a whole lot. So we're going to see. But this one, this is what this looked like. It's a beautiful color. But I have got so many lipsticks that are beautiful that if, at the end of today, if I don't care for this, I'm getting rid of both of my duches. Because I don't like them when they go on so dry that they pull on your lips and it's hard to get a good color because they're they go on so dry so anyway these were my lipsticks for the week it's always so hard for me to hold them up there we go um i had one from shop miss a i had the sonia kashik which i absolutely loved i had the elf which i really like I'm very happy with that, too. And I had the Kiko Milano that I really like. None of them stayed on very long. None of them. Um, by the time that I grab a, grab a quick sandwich or grab a quick thing of fries or whatever, in the afternoon, they're gone. So, they're not great. This one here is broken. It. I love the lipstick. I love the... the um, you know, it's nice and creamy and, and feels good on your lips. But it's not worth it to me to keep a broken lipstick because I've got so many. So why keep one that's broken? So that one's going away. And this one, we're going to see how it lasts on my lips and how my lips feel after a while. Right now, they don't feel too dry. They don't feel too bad. But um, like I said, it depends on how they feel after a while and they might not, not stay but next week's going to be a really fun week because I'm going to use my Morphe palettes well I'm not even going to tell you what I'm going to use but I'm going to use quite a few things from a haul that I'm doing this weekend so um, I got my stuff looked at it last night I'm very happy with everything so far and I'll talk to you Monday on my next day working Bye.